Hi ladies, I just wanted to do a quick project share with you. Um, I have been admiring these fabric journals for so long and have been aspiring to make one. Well, I've been working on this one for a while um, and I finally just finished it up today. I'm calling it finished. I could probably go on forever, but this thing is already grown ginormously, um, much bigger than I anticipated it would be. Um, so I'm just going to, you know, kind of go over the pages with you, and I will put a link um, below to uh, Margaret's video that um, showed me how to make the base of this journal book, whatever you want to call it. Um, here's the spine and each, well, I'll put, I'll put a link to how she did it in the description box rather than me trying to explain it. It's much easier to watch her. But most of the laces um, came from Creating with Details. Some I had in my stash. Some I have um, avocado dyed. Some I have tea dyed. Some were left natural. Um, so the first page is an image that I found on the internet and I'm sure most of you have seen this one. Let me see if I can bring this in just a little bit. There we go. It's a little vintage baby and all of the images in here are either, you know, little kids or, or babies. And then I just gathered some trim around the edges, as you can see, in between here are are um, two pages. And then I just gathered trim. I made this little um, flower here out of scraps of lace and muslin and just various things. Some some pearls, a little flat back pearl. Um, then I had these little bows that I avocado dyed and just stuck those on. Um, added some little danglies here. Okay, so that's the first page. And then, oh, you're going to have to. This is the second page. And again, another image that I found on the internet. This little girl here. Um, these laces, um, including the, um, the doily I had in my stash. Um, just again added some blings and some danglies. Um, these are laces from trim from May from Creating with Details. All the little danglies that you see here. And then I have backed the page with this. So that's the second page. This is the third page. Now every other page, um, like the page opposite the picture, is a, let me zoom back out again is a pocket page and I just did this because I mean, there's really no rhyme or reason to how or why I did this book like I said this was my first one so it was kind of experimental but this is a collar that Creating with Details has this is one of the, the laces here this um, fabric was off of a, a, a shirt that I got at a thrift store um, and I just made this into a pocket out of a piece of lace here and just glued this up at the top so that you can store things in it. Okay, this is the next page. Another little vintage baby. And this one I cut out an opening out of the doily and then glued some of this gorgeous, I love this trim. I used it around here and around the baby's picture. This is also a fringe that's available at Creating with Details. The flower also from Creating with Details. Um, here I just made a bow out of sari ribbon, um, gathered some trim, and then glued this flower in the center. This is the pocket page. I just took a doily and glued it in half. Um, made a flower here, added some laces and trims, some more of the bows. 
Um, this was a trim that I had that I cut down and it had a place to um, weave wire or ribbon in it so I put some sari ribbon in there. This was the fabric that was left over from the shoe that I made which was um, dyed with avocado. Some more of the ruffled trim from Creating with Details. And this page, um, these were all items, not, not all, most of the items that you see like the dangly trim, these were all pieces, some of the flowers, the um, fabric flowers. This was my trim here. Um, this was a trim that I had in, in this. Um, so it was just kind of a combination of different items that I had on hand and that I got from Creating with Details. This one, again, is a pocket page, another doily. And these were all pieces of um, a wedding gown that I dyed in avocado. All of these were dyed in avocado at the same time. So this is just an example of you know how the different materials take the, the dye from the avocado. Um, these are from May Store. Um, these are from May Store. I just avocado dyed them. This is what they look like originally. This is what they look like dyed. And the next page another vintage baby as you can see this was one of May's new flowers right here this I just made with a bunch of trims and chain and some beads this was I believe May had this flower before it might have been a part of a, another um, applique that I cut apart but I had this left flat back pearls from May store this gorgeous trim that I was hoarding um, but I decided that it looks so good because of the sepia look on this I decided to put it on here this is the next um, pocket page and this is again a piece of lace from creating with details all of this is from creating with details here including this trim and this ruffle trim um, this little heart I made out of muslin and just kind of shabbied it up. This was off of an applique from Creating with Details that I just avocado dyed. This trim is also from Creating with Details and I will put everything that I use in the description box below. Um, the next page is another little girl. I used some more dangles, some more of that um, collar some trim here, another flower, and another dangle. So you can see that's that page. And then this is the last pocket page. Oops, last pocket page. Just lay some dangles that I had off of a, um, I think it was off of a scarf. Some more of that trim that I had. And then the very last page is just this piece this is from Creating with Details. And this piece is actually, I think it's seven, seven or eight inches wide, and it comes in layers. And I simply cut those layers apart, and uh, I've used them on several different projects. This was an applique off of a wedding gown, uh, as was this. This was a piece of trim that I had. This is tulle some pink tool that I had. This is off of a piece, one of those little tiny pieces of leftover um, trim from May. This was a little flower that I made. And so that's pretty much it, ladies. Um, it took me a while to make this because I was not sure what I was doing. Um, it was fun. It was challenging. Um, the most challenging part was to know when to stop because, as you can see, uh, when I cut this out, I had no idea how big and this would get and how fast it would get that big. So 
rather than, you know, keep going with this before I ended up with a monster, I had to call it stop somewhere. And this is a trim, another trim that you can get from creating the details that I put on the spine um, right here. And again, I will put all the links, including um, Margaret's, uh, Margaret Tommaso. Um, she's the one that I've gotten the um, inspiration for how to, you know, put the book together, how to create it. So I will um, put some still pictures here at the end. So ladies, I hope that you've enjoyed this. If you do, please give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And until next time, God bless you. Be kind to one another and bye-bye.